Good evening. Welcome to Yoga for Kids, Sleepy Time Yoga through the Reading Public Library. Tonight, we're going to do a few yoga poses that your little ones can learn pretty easily, even at a young age, um, that you can do with them to help them calm and quiet their minds, which in turn will calm and quiet their little bodies as well. I am coming to you from why I'm missing. I'm actually in my room. This is my quiet area. I still have up my Christmas tree and decoration because it makes me feel good and happy. A couple things that I like when I'm doing kids yoga classes is for them to have a blanket or something that comforts them, maybe a stuffed animal that comforts them that they can have with them while they do their quieting and relaxing. Comfy PJs, wear your PJs for yoga. Then you know, I can just hop right into bed after you're all nice and relaxed. Tonight I have a little bit of oil. I uh, encourage you to associate a scent that your kiddo likes with relaxation and sleep. This is just an oil that you can get even at Rite Aid or Walgreens, CVS, even the dollar store has oils now. And it's an oil that you want to use every time you get ready to relax. So every night, put a little bit of oil, lotion, whatever it is that they like, keep it off of their hands so they don't touch their face and hurt themselves. And then taking a couple breaths in and out to smell the oil or the lotion or whatever scent it is. Two more breaths in, breathing in. One more breath, breathing in. Ah, that's better. I have on some soft music. Uh, you can go to YouTube and type in relaxing music. That helps to muffle out any extra sounds that might be going on out there that are distracting for your, your kiddo. So we did scent. We did touch by being comfortable, even laying on a blanket or towel. We did sound. For taste, maybe have some water or even a little cup of warm milk. My kids like tea, you could do tea. And again, just associating this little nighttime routine to help them calm down from their busy day. For sight, I encourage you to do yoga in a place that's quiet. You could do it in their bedroom, turn off some of the lights and put me on, on their tablet or on your phone. And just make it a nice, warm and inviting place for them. Clearing the stuff away, even if you just put it behind you for the practice ahead so that they don't get easily distracted. I like to show breath with our breathing ball. And with a breathing ball, it shows us what our lungs look like inside when we breathe in and when we breathe out. So when you breathe in, your lungs expand really big and then you breathe out they get to be smaller. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in for three, breathing out. Breathing in four, Breathing out one more time, big breath in and breathing out. Nicely done, starting to feel relaxed. Bring your hands to your heart and to start we say namaste. Perfect, you said that perfect. And that means the light in me shines in you. I care about you, you care about me and we care about all things. Putting your legs out and just wiggling your toes, bouncing your legs, shaking your arms, getting all those wiggles out as you get ready to calm down, to get ready to go to bed. You could do a little twisting, that feels good. And take a deep breath in and out. Coming to your hands and knees. Now we've been practicing cat and cow when it comes to our bedtime routine and cow we drop our belly look forward and moo with the moon moo 
And if you look at Miss Amy's back, I curve my back and my belly down. And then for cats, you curve your back up towards the ceiling, head and tail are down. Kitty cats, meow. Cow, moo. Cat, meow. One more cow, moo. Very good. Kitty cats, we're nice cats, meow. And sitting back on your feet to rest in child's pose. Slowing down just a little bit. You can make a fist with your hands to rest your body down. If you're a little older or you've been doing yoga with me, you can bring your head all the way down to the mat in child's pose, or you can reach your arms overhead like a cat when they spread their claws apart and just rest down in child's pose. Coming up, cow, moo, cat, meow, cow, moo, child's pose, sitting back and resting here. Starting to slow down, you might even smell that oil or lotion that you just put on. Coming all the way back up and into down dog. Your hands come onto the mat, lift your tail up and push your tail back. Nod your head yes and no. Knees to the mat. Walking your hands back to your legs to reach up high towards those stars in the sky. Do that one more time, reach up really high, staying on your knees, and then bring your hands down to the mat. Cow, cat. Cow, slowing down. Child's pose, knees are wide. Watch that your little one doesn't have their feet out like a W. You wanna keep those toes tucked, knees are wide. Child's pose. Lift your head, press your palms down, dog. You could kick one leg high if you need to get some extra wiggles out. You can kick your other leg high, get extra wiggles out. Knees to the mat, cow. Cat, one more cow. Walk your hands back to your knees, reaching for the stars. Hands down along your side. And again, reaching tall for the stars. And hands down to the mat. Very good, have a seat back. Now, if your little one is just starting to get used to the yoga, you can watch this on replay. You can do it a couple times a week. You could start to do it every night and just put it on. I'll say good morning. I mean, I'll say good night to everybody and then we'll start the class together. It's a nice way to end the day. Bringing your bottom onto the mat. And I want you to bring your feet out. Bring your legs in and give yourself a hug. Really good way to get that extra energy out. If your kiddo is next to you, you could give them a big bear hug. You could have them give you a big bear hug and really squeeze to get that sensor, we call it sensory input. Just that warm, comfy squeeze to help calm our little ones. Reaching your legs. Pretending that you're putting on lotion on those legs. Give yourself a little massage, you deserve it. You must have had a busy day, so let's give yourself a little massage. Really rubbing down your legs, and again, you can be doing this to your little one to help them calm down. It feels good though, if you're a little bit older, you can do it yourself. 
reaching all the way down to one foot. Bring your foot onto your leg. Can you see how Miss Amy has her leg and her foot? Perfect. Your knee's not gonna touch the mat, that's okay. And we're gonna start to walk our fingers down our leg. Just like when you were just rubbing your leg, walk your fingers down, come to a forward fold. You can let your chin rest towards your chest. Walk your hands back up and do that again. This time reaching your hands up high to the stars in the sky and then reaching towards your toes. Miss Amy can't touch her toes, so I come just below my knee. You're, you bring your hands to wherever they land and start to walk your fingertips away. Chin towards your chest. Reaching your hands up one more time and towards your toes. We tend to do our yoga poses three times, the magic number of three. And then bring your hands up, feet to the mat. Bring your feet in and give yourself a hug. Squeeze as tight as you can. Take a deep breath in. And then breathe out. Right leg goes straight or whichever one you did before. And your foot comes to your leg on the other side. Walking down your leg. Letting this knee just relax and start to walk your fingertips down your leg. Coming up, reach your hands high to the sky, reaching down to your leg or to your toes. You could let your head and chin drop towards your chest. One more time, reach high to the sky and then down towards your leg. Good job. Are you starting to slow down and feel relaxed? Good, I'm happy to hear that. Feet to the mat, one more big hug. Give yourself a big hug. Ah. Now from here, we are gonna do what's called rock and roll. Your legs are gonna stay tucked in. And we're gonna massage our spine. That's the little bones that go up and down the middle of your back. If you could show your little one where your spine is, you could touch it for them. And from here, holding onto your knees or underneath, we're gonna rock back and roll up. Now watch, you don't want your little one to bump their head. So be careful, rock and roll looks like this. My hands are underneath, I'm gonna hold on tight. Um, I rock back and I roll up. Feels really good on my back. Rock, roll, rock and roll. One more time, rock and roll. Now this time we're gonna rock down. We're gonna come into candlestick. Rock down, your back is on the mat. Your tail is on the mat. And to start, we're gonna come into bridge pose. Just those hips go up towards the sky. And you have a bridge that a boat could go underneath you. Lifting those hips, pressing those feet. And now slowly lower your spine down towards your mat, blanket, or towel. Do that again, lift your hips. Number two here, do you have room underneath you for a boat to go under? Can you make a boat sound? Like a really loud horn. Ooh, you're good at that. Slowly lower down. And before we do that one more time, you can just move your legs side to side. We call this windshield wiper like the windshield wipers going on your bus or your car. Your knees go side to side one more time. Lift your hips high enough that a boat can go underneath you. Bridge pose, lowering down. Ah, candlestick, candlestick. 
is a fun pose. It can be a little tricky, so watch Miss Amy. Candlestick, our legs are gonna go up in the air. And how we keep them up is by using our hands to support our back. This is great if you have a little, little one because you could hold on to their feet and help them lift their legs up. Oop, Miss Amy needs a little help tonight. This is candlestick. You can do it. I know you can. This is our challenge. Go ahead, try it. See, I knew you could do it. Gently bring your knees down, watch your nose, and roll out. Oh my goodness. Reach your arms and legs. That was our challenge for today. We're all done. Bring your hands to your stomach, and I want you to lay flat. If you have a little one, you could put a blanket on them. You could put their special animal, stuffed animal or baby doll, on their stomach for their breathing buddy. And you can move your toes, wiggle your toes, maybe bring one leg in, and then bring the other leg in. Get any extra wiggles out and let your legs be still. Now it's time for your arms. Reach those arms, reach them up high. Give yourself a high five for doing yoga tonight. Wiggle out those fingers and wrists and then bring your hands down along your side or onto your stomach. Move your head from one side to the other. Do you feel how heavy the back of your head is? And then bring your hands to your breathing buddy on your stomach, feeling your breath as you breathe in and out. When you breathe in, your belly gets big. And when you breathe out, it falls gently. Breathing in and breathing out. Closing your eyes, we're gonna do rainbow breath. Now into your belly, we're gonna imagine there's a balloon and when you breathe in, that balloon gets big and it changes colors. And then when you breathe out, you slowly breathe that color out. Let's get started. Eyes are closed. Move your jaw side to side, relax. What it means to be relaxed is to be still with your body quiet with your mind, and calm with your soul and your heart. So with your eyes closed, thinking about the balloon in your belly, breathe in, the balloon is red. The red balloon gets really, really, really big in your belly, and breathe out the color red. Breathe in, your balloon is now blue and breathing out. Breathing in your balloon is orange. And breathing out, good job. Breathing in your balloon is yellow. Ah, you can make a soft sound as you breathe, that's okay. Breathing in green. We're gonna do blue again, breathing in blue. That balloon gets big and blue. Purple, breathing in. Your belly gets big with the color purple and breathing out. Perfect job. Now, if you don't have a breathing buddy, you can just use your hands. And if you need to use a little magic, you can warm up your hands and put your warm, oh, even faster, warm those hands up. Faster, 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 faster. That's it. And put them on your belly. And with your eyes closed, I want you to think of every color of the rainbow. And thinking about at night, the stars in the sky. Imagine you see a red star. That's cool. You see an orange star, 
a yellow star, a green star, a rainbow is starting to form in the sky, a blue star, and a purple star. Seeing the sky is dark, maybe black, and then seeing those little colored stars in the sky. Now, if your little one is nice and relaxed, you can hit pause or you can say goodnight to Miss Amy and get ready to go to sleep. If you have a couple more minutes, I want you to move your toes and your fingers. Take one more deep breath in and out. Reach your arms over your head very slowly and quietly like you're still a little sleepy. This is sleepy time yoga after all. Bring your knees in, give yourself a hug and say, I love myself. And then roll up, still calm. Your body is still, your mind is calm and all is well. Thank you for joining me tonight for Sleepy Time Yoga. I hope that this helped your little one and served them in slowing down. Remember that yoga is a practice. It needs to be practiced just like everything else we're learning. So if your little one only got through the first five minutes, that's okay, try again. And each time you do, each time they see Miss Amy, they'll get used to it, they'll get excited, and then it'll help you with your routine as well. Everybody, moms, dads, grandmas, aunts, uncles, kiddos, join Miss Amy as we take one more last deep breath in and out. I hope you feel calm, maybe still feeling a little sleepy. And I hope you have sweet dreams of rainbows and bright stars in the sky. I'll see you next month. Namaste. Sweet dreams. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.